Hi, how's it going? So I'm going to talk about a little bit about getting started on a plant-based diet. And, uh, you know, so I've, I've done it twice now. And I wish I wouldn't have had to do it twice. <laughs> but uh, I have a lot of experience in, in success and failure and the whole nine yards. So I wanted to talk about it a little bit. And uh, uh, just a quick history in 2007, late 2016, actually, I was about... 300 pounds and uh my cholesterol was about 300 and uh i felt about as bad as i've ever felt i was having all kinds of pains and chest pains and really wasn't too sure i wanted to live because i just didn't know what to do uh i was desperate and sick and didn't have any hope and had tried every fad diet known to man and it just i had no faith in any of them I had done all the low carb stuff and it just didn't feel right. You know, I would just feel the grease on my fingers, you know. Um, and it just didn't, it didn't feel healthy is the main thing. Of course, losing weight is healthy. Uh, so the other strategy I had was out exercising my diet and I had done that many times and it does work, but eventually you wear out. <laughs> you only can walk or jog five miles a day and uh, for so long. And at 51, I just didn't have that kind of energy. And uh, I wasn't too sure I wanted to live. I was just going to let life play itself out. And uh, my grandchildren came to live with me. And uh, I just couldn't abandon them. So I I uh, just tried to eat healthy and uh, do a calorie in, calorie out type thing. And found out real fast that the most low calorie thing you can do is what? Eat a bunch of vegetables i i discovered the wonderful world of vegetables <laughs> and what's really weird is that all these fad diets and all these other diets that i've been on didn't really mention vegetables too much i it really it's kind of crazy right but, oh well so uh i started losing weight so fast lost 100 pounds in 20 weeks 120 pounds in 24 weeks. That was kind of scared it wasn't healthy. Because I never had seen anything that worked so good. And it wasn't that hard for me anyway to, to stay on. And uh, so I discovered the video Forks Over Knives and What the Health and all the other videos that there are fat, sick, and dead or whatever that is. And um, all of them. Engine 2, uh, and got into the, the whole environmental stuff and the treatment of animals, I'll, I'll be honest. You know, watched death on a factory farm and earthlings, a whole nine yards. I've seen them every single video, uh, all the YouTube videos, Dr. Krieger, all of them, okay? So I did a lot of research because I'm the kind of person who overanalyzes everything and uh, of course found out it was the most healthy thing you could do and my cholesterol number went from 300 to under 200 my blood pressure went from 150 over 112 to 130 over 90 or some number like that or my um sugar level went from 130 to under like 91 and on and on and on and was the healthiest that anybody's ever been and uh, on april 16th of of 2017 jogged seven miles straight so i had started exercising even again and then on April 17th of 2017, or somewhere around there, I had a car accident. Guy rear-ended me on 270 here in St. Louis and uh, couldn't exercise like I did. I tried and it just was too painful and uh, had to really cut back and it just knocked me off my square. And then my mom died in July of 2017 and and I think, you know, sometimes we think we should be able to handle stuff, and we just can't. And work was a mess, the whole nine yards. And uh, it's like so many other people, I uh, use food for comfort. And, uh, and I hadn't been using food for comfort anymore. And that I was using food as fuel to do all the stuff I had only dreamed about doing. And, you know, did things like jog five miles on the Las Vegas Strip and 
played with my grandchildren, which is ju I had a boat, just would jump in that boat, you know, uh, and so many other things physically. I don't want to talk about it on YouTube, but uh, just wonderful stuff. And then after my mom died, I went off the rails. And I thought for sure I could go out, go off, and go on, and go off, and on. So that's number one. You're not going to be going off. You can't go off, and on, and off, and on. At least that's not my experience. You know, a lot of people tell you once you go over to the dark side, it might take a miracle to get back to the light. And that's what I would say. That's what I would say. Uh, so be careful. Maybe... The second thing I would say is maybe don't try to be 100% all at once. Let me tell you what 100% really is. And that's eating raw vegetables and distilled water. And a nutritionist told me that. So um, if you're not doing that, you're probably not 100 percent anyway. So, you know, and this is the second time uh, I've been on a plant-based diet again uh, for 33 days. Because after I went off the rails, I gained all the way back. You know, I'm a yo-yo guy, just like so many other people. And uh, tried for over a year to get back, and don't don't I don't know why this time it finally kicked in. So that's another thing. Keep trying, just keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. Like uh, I'm a spiritual person. I think being on a plant-based diet is definitely a spiritual thing. It kind of becomes who you are, you know, because it's so positive for everything. Your health, you know, your state of mind. Your, uh, what it does for other people, uh, the environment, all that, uh, animals, the whole nine yards. Uh, so I'm going to say the word prayer. I hope it doesn't offend people. Like Sometimes I think when we pray, we think our prayers should be answered before we're done praying, and it doesn't happen like that. And just like this, you never know when it's going to kick in. You never know. So let's keep trying. And I will say this, probably why I didn't damage my health as much as I would have, because I kept trying. So at least I was healthy for a week at a time, a week and a half at a time, two weeks at a time. Um, so that was a big plus. Um, so uh, number one is don't go try to go off and on and off and on. Two, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. Don't try to be 100% all at once. Do it in stages. A lot of people are going to do to say that. That's what I did the first time. Is that uh, at first, I just cut way back on meat. Then I got rid of meat. Then I got rid of dairy. And then what's the difference between being vegan and plant-based? Mostly, plant-based people don't, eat, don't, don't use oils. Don't use uh, uh, peanut oil or uh, olive oil or vegetable oil or any oils. And we'll get to that. We'll get to that. But that's the main reason. That's the main difference between vegan and uh, plant-based in my mind. Uh, the other thing I would say is don't go out and buy a bunch of expensive stuff to cook with. Don't go out and buy an air fryer and an Instant Pot and all that stuff right away. See how you're doing. See how you're doing. Um, what, what do I cook with? A, a skillet. I cook with a skillet. Uh, and I, I cook with water. And then I add seasoning. And uh, I'll use cauliflower rice as my base. I'll uh, put some hot sauce on there and uh, maybe some low sodium soy sauce. And uh, don't everybody have our tech at once, maybe some even salt and pepper. Some, I'll put turmeric on everything and then uh, some other stuff, you know, garlic, stuff like that. You, you know, season it up. Half the fun is learning how to cook, you know. Uh, learn what spaghetti squash is, stuff like that, you know. Uh, it's, it, it, man, it's, it's a good noodle. It's a good noodle. And But that's the other thing I would say is don't go out and try to eat a bunch of fake food. You know, the biggest thing on this, on the Forks Over Knives uh, uh, Facebook site is these carrot dogs. Hey, man, those don't taste like hot dogs. And uh, the, the Impossible Burgers, which I don't... Don't recommend other than in a pinch, and we'll get to that. Is uh, uh, don't taste like hamburgers, and uh, the fake macaroni and cheese don't really taste like macaroni and cheese. It's close. It's close. It's close. You know, but if you're on a plant-based diet, everything you're gonna have to sacrifice that stuff. You're gonna have to sacrifice. That's the whole idea behind it. 
You have to sacrifice that stuff. Yeah, it's good. It tastes good. That's why we ate so much of it. You know what I mean? That's why we found out about this. <laughs> you know? And, uh, yeah, it's not like we hadn't had enough of it. <laughs> you know? Uh, so I wouldn't eat a bunch of fake food. Have you ever looked at the chemicals of that fake cheese, for instance? You know, you, what's the difference then? You know, what's... I, we've all watched What the Health. We, maybe we should watch a video called What's the Difference? If you're eating a bunch of fake cheese and it has all those chemicals in it, what's the difference? You know? Uh, and, and, and like I said, though, I'll use natural stuff. I'll use the spaghetti squash as a, as a replacement for noodles. That's different. Okay? I know it's not noodles. It's spaghetti squash. I use cauliflower rice rather than rice. I'll use uh, yeah, cauliflower mashed potatoes are real good, <laughs> you know, uh, and you'll learn all that stuff. But I wouldn't eat a bunch of fake food. You know, that's like a reservation to eat it. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know, that's the other thing. Don't, don't, don't try to eat a bunch of fake stuff that you used to eat. You know, you try to, as, as in, that's why I go in stages. You know, so it's good because you, cause you're going to transit, you want to transition to plant based. Not, not, um, you know, um, be, you're not really transitioning if you're still trying to eat the other stuff, but fake it. You know what I mean? You know, uh, so I would stay away from the fake food. Uh, you know, and the other thing is, is that, and this is the last thing I'm going to say is, uh, don't plan cheat days and stuff like that. And this is and this is and what I call myself on is on a relaxed plant based because because of what I see people say they're gonna can I cheat? Can I do you plan cheat days? No, I don't. And here's why. It's because I'm busy. I run a trucking terminal, I do a lot of other stuff. Um, I'm a deacon in my church, the whole nine yards. So I got I'm raising three grandchildren, uh, I have a boat, I have friends, uh, you know, and uh, like, uh, let's say I'm taking my uh, my grandkids to the movies, and I don't want to eat the buttered popcorn because that's not butter, by the way, that's fake butter. Uh, and uh, popcorn's not the greatest thing for you either on a plant-based diet. Uh, so what I would do uh, instead is uh, I might run by Subway, right? And I might get a spinach wrap, right? And just vegetables, no meat. I don't eat any, just because I said I'm relaxed. I don't eat any meat, I don't eat any dairy. But on that spinach wrap, I might get some mustard, all right? I'll eat some condiments. <laughs> and I know there might be a little oil in mustard or half an egg and half of a tenth of an egg and mustard or whatever. I don't know what's in it. I don't, I'm not trying to research that. I've done enough research. Uh, I might even use some honey mustard, and I like real honey mustard compared to um, uh, honey mustard dressing. Uh, I stay away from dressings. I won't say in a pinch I wouldn't eat some dressing on a salad because, uh, yeah, I'm going to eat a salad on a pinch. No cheese, nothing like that, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to just eat lettuce and carrots. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to flavor it up a little bit. Uh, I might get an Impossible Burger. At St. Louis was the first place to have Impossible Order, the Burger King. And I'm not getting it plain. I'm going to get something on it. You know why? Because it doesn't taste like a regular hamburger. You need something on that. And, I, I, and if I go uh, to Crazy Bowls here in St. Louis, I order the teriyaki sauce. I don't know if they're really cooking in teriyaki sauce. They might be using some kind of oil. When I eat Thai food, I know they're using some kind of oil. Okay? I know that. And that's, those are my cheats. Those are my cheats. I don't plan cheat days. I don't like eat steak as a cheat or nothing like that. But I will if I'm with friends, if I'm with the kids, if I'm busy and uh, I don't want to eat any meat, I don't want to eat any dairy, I'll slide by someplace and, and, and what I would call get vegan food. And uh, so I stay on track. Sometimes on a, on a track, on a high school track, there's eight lanes, right? Sometimes I'm in the second lane. The first lane is exercise and a, and a, and a, and a plant-based diet. That's the first lane. The second lane is plant-based diet, you know, with a little bit of exercise. That's probably where I'm at right now. Third lane is you're eating a little vegan food. Sometimes I'm all the way over in the eighth lane, but I'm still on track, you know. 
because uh, I'm not going to put that kind of pressure on myself. It's too hard. That's that's why a lot of people go off plant-based diets because they put too much pressure on themselves. And, um, you know, because where, where are you going to go when you're with friends and stuff or family and all that, family events and stuff like that, you know? Uh, more and more and more, though, there's going to be more and more food for us. It's just in the last three years, it's amazing how many more options there are, and it's just going to get better and better and better. But be careful about the fake stuff. I, I'm, I, I can't wait to the, for the day there's cauliflower rice instead of regular rice everywhere. And I think it's coming. Um, so that's just a kind of a long video about getting started on a plant-based diet. I'm 33 days in. I've already lost 18 pounds. Uh, feel so much better. My clothes are feeling better. Uh, you know, everything. I'm walking. Uh, you know, now I have that sick, bloated feeling. The other thing is, once you know, you know. So I know uh, I don't have all that guilt and that shame and all that because it's just so much better. You know, so much better. Just consider this. You know, 70% of all the stuff we grow is for animals to eat. <laughs> Duh, you know what I'm saying? What if we just ate it, you know? Uh, you know, it, it would make a lot of sense, right? They wouldn't have to cut down the rainforest to grow stuff for animals to eat, you know, stuff like that. And I don't want to get too far into that because people get lost when you talk about that kind of stuff. But thanks for listening to my video. Please like and subscribe. And what I want to do is develop a network of people who are doing this so we can discuss all of this stuff, you know, and, and the do's and the don'ts and what we can eat and what we can eat and where we can eat and and how you do it how do you plan your ch how do you how do you do it when you're out with friends and family and and business and stuff like that how do you how do you where do you eat and what do you eat you know i'd like to know